What's going on, y'all? Back with another reaction video today. We got how a zero star recruit became an NFL star. Tyson Bajan, another one from K Rich Productions. Shout out to him. Um, let me think. Let me think. I ain't really got too much, too much thoughts on it. I seen his. I mean, I, I paid attention to him a decent amount during the preseason because I watched all the preseason games. Well, the highlights, of all the preseason games, but um. I mean, he was solid then. Left a good impression on me. We're going to see uh, see what happens. Uh, I think he's starting again this upcoming Sunday. So let's check it out. You ready, bud? Here for a reason. Show the world. Let's go. Tyson hmm. Bajan has stepped in at quarterback for the Chicago Bears. And they're winning. But where did he come from? What's his potential look like? And why are those close to him and some college coaches even saying that he's possibly about to become one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL? Justin Fields is healthy this week. What are we doing? What are they going to do? From almost quitting football and becoming a high school teacher who did CrossFit to winning the Heisman Trophy at the D2 level and now becoming a possible contender as a to winning the Heisman Harlan Hill Award winner for so it's like sort of Heisman of D2. Okay, that's interesting. Trophy at the D2 level and now becoming a possible contender as a top 10 quarterback in the National Football League. This is the story of Tyson Bajan. Tyson Bajan grew up in Martinsburg, West Virginia, where he played football and basketball <laughs> at Martinsburg High. On the gridiron, he threw for over 7,800 passing yards in 112 touchdowns, earning him the Gatorade Player of the Year award in his home state. From the he start, did that in one his year? family had always believed in him, including his father, who always pushed him to be the best. Surprisingly, Bajan's father is a world career. champion arm wrestler, and his dedication oh, hey, no. to being great in his own field inspired the quarterback to do the same when it came to football. Travis coached his son's teams and even built an offense that allowed them to throw as often as possible in order for Tyson to develop and learn the position of quarterback. But at 10 years old, we had started throwing the football like crazy. Instead of practicing two days a week, we practiced six days a week. We got that dad voice for real. We got that. Man. Good pass, son. Potential in his son and was the <laughs> first believer that he could be something very special. Tyson Bajan somehow was only graded a two star recruit, and despite leading his team to back to back championships, he still received no D1 offers. I had an offer from the University of Albany, offer from Robert Morris. West Virginia University flirted with me, Marshall flirted with me. Anytime it came time to pull the trigger, they didn't. They had their doubts. How could all of these premier colleges just let this gunslinger fly under the radar and go unnoticed after this type of resume? And while not knowing what to do next, he still had a passion for football. So he chose D2 as the route he would take and landed at Shepherd University. A local hey man, if you can get a full ride and a Virginia, good opportunity. He won the starting quarterback role as a great. freshman. His dedication to preparation and being the very best version of himself is profound. Bajan threw for 3,029. <laughs> yards in his freshman year with 29 touchdowns and 13 interceptions the following year he helped the team to win nine games and drastically improved on his own output increasing to 4,349 passing yards and 36 touchdowns but it was his final two seasons that you wouldn't really even had those you wouldn't even think he's he's mobile now, far more having stats like that of tyson bajan reached 5,000 passing yards wow. in 2021 and threw for 53 touchdown passes in what was an outstanding year for the shepherd quarterback and it was at this moment that he knew he would have a shot at making it to D1. So Bajan entered the transfer portal and took visits to both West Virginia and... Boy, he capitalized hard. 5,000 yards and 53 touchdowns. Maryland. I put in so much work and put up such good numbers and been a, a proven winner. So I got... Who do I have winning the Heisman? University of Albany and the I University mean, right now, Phoenix is, is probably in the lead for sure. But uh, it's still it's still time left, so we'll see. Mercy of Robert Morris. Those teams didn't exactly have the win loss records that we were looking for, so we waited desperately for WVU to come. And while D1 would have been a step up for him, he was far from guaranteed playing time, and that was just a risk he couldn't afford to take after building such an impressive resume up to that point. So in a shocking decision, back to Shepard it was for the Guns, oh, wow. and came back as a senior to throw for another 4,580 passing yards and 41 more touchdowns. I mean, these numbers so he's have to go back. are insane. He amassed for over 17,000 passing yards in four seasons and a whopping 150 
159 passing touchdowns. How does a guy who threw 159 touchdown passes go undrafted? Oh my God. Bryce Young threw 68. CJ Stroud threw 75. I mean, Tyson Bajan beat the two of them combined. But you see, that's what the problem is. It was the level of competition, as is often the case with Division II standout talent. Can they do it against the very best in the game? Yeah, I guess like it, those... if he would have been guaranteed a spot at West Virginia, like guaranteed to start, like, hey, we're going to invest in you. If he if he could have got the opportunity at some, at whatever D1 school, then that would have been cool. But taking the gamble in your future like that is tough. To oh. play in the SEC every week or face the likes of Georgia, Alabama, Michigan in big college games. Tyson Bajan didn't have the chance, but his offensive coordinator what's, what's LSU record? Haynes, was on a mission to tell NFL scouts just who his quarterback was and why they should take a chance on him. Bajan's makeup is pure dedication and preparation. Haynes explained that he was the ultimate competitor. While his teammates were out having fun or playing video yeah. games, Bajan was sitting in a freezing cold stream helping his body recover ready for for the next game it's overcoming that feat so the more voluntary suffering i can absorb myself into the more i'll be able to handle whether that be in life or in football from where i am coming from getting my foot in the door is all i could ever ask for it was these Sound like characters got good that good work Tyler it. Haynes wanted NFL teams to know about. He spoke to scouts from every single team in the league. And you know which team was the only one that paid attention? The Bears. Hell, in a game against Cutstown, Shepard had fallen behind 21 to 14. Haynes describes it as one of Bajan's most inspirational performances, leading the team back to a win and picking up 456 passing yards and four touchdowns along. I feel like I've seen this like on Twitter or something. That's crazy. But was was that was was odd to me is like all of these are passing highlights. But when I fir my first time seeing him was in a preseason and he was scrambling so nice, it was like I just thought he was a mobile quarterback. I didn't know he he was actually throwing like that. Along the way. And can you guess who was at that game? Scouts from the Chicago Bears, of course. They were watching him. Coming from Division II, it's tough to earn the respect of the NFL. Blue chip programs are putting out highly productive talent into the league year should after every player year. Have a good While a mindset? like Shepard has had just six I mean, should. players make that it doesn't to the NFL do. in their history. Bajan being one of them. I mean, hell, the only other player to be drafted out of Shepard was a running back by the name of Wayne Wilson from like the 80s or something. Outside of him, the program name has never been called in the NFL draft. And the same was said for Bajan when he went undrafted and wouldn't hear his name called during this past draft in April. Do you think that every single name that goes before him is a drastic mistake? But if he is the last pick in the draft, you're not going to be able to tell from the party and the celebration that he wasn't in fact the number one pick in the draft. But in a shocking turn of events in May, Tyson had received a phone call from, you guessed it, the Chicago Bears. Before the draft was over, you know, they gave me the call. Very emotional day. You realize that you pretty much accomplished the impossible. You think about all the hours and the, the yeah, talk about just to get to this point, and then just being so happy that you know, you're being rewarded with something you've wanted ever since you were a little kid. And after years of going under the radar and having outrageous stat lines, the dream of being in the NFL would come true for Tyson and was signed to the team. And during the preseason, he had once again begun turning heads. He had the proved Bears versus Chargers. wrong and had made that 53-man roster. And if we're being honest, since taking over the start, from last week, the offense has looked efficient with him out there. And although the coaching staff has called a relatively safe game for him and limited his exposure to throwing down field there's plenty to get excited about i forget that basic did lay a, a beautiful dime in the <laughs> yeah. end zone to morph that hit him in the hands and got dropped so that should have been on his stat sheet too. Yeah. Chicago has been begging for a great story at quarterback. So just imagine what it would be like for this undrafted rookie quarterback out of Shepherd University to turn into a top 10 Chicago Bears quarterback of all time. Now, what makes this story particularly intriguing is because we've seen this exact same scenario play out in San Francisco. Trey Lance, who had struggled to make an impact, goes down injured, allowing his backup, Brock Purdy, a chance to show what he can do. And next thing you know, Purdy comes in, wins over the crowd, the organization, and before you know it, Trey Lance is no longer a Niner, and Brock Purdy is the starting quarterback in the NFL. That's where the impossible task of trying to grade a guy like Tyson Bajan comes from. He might not have been drafted, but Tyson Bajan got exactly what he needed. All he wanted was a chance, and his path here hasn't been just given to him. A? Walker has had his fair share of experience. He looks so He's much faster than that. Since 2017, went to the XFL and impressed there before returning to the NFL and making several starts at multiple franchises. Chicago picked him up in March of 2020. 
2023 as a viable backup quarterback to Justin Fields. He's athletic, could take off and run, and ultimately was a perfect option as the team's backup. Enter Tyson Bajan, who not only earned a spot on the roster, but beat out Walker for the backup role. Let's not overlook how important this is. This undrafted Division II quarterback with zero reps in the league was impressive enough that the Bears kept him around and cut P.J. Walker before the first season of his two-year deal had even begun. Bajan made some nice plays in the preseason, and his staff had seen enough to make him the backup quarterback. That just doesn't happen that often. The backup PJ be quarterback showing flashes, job but never is pans not out. just a yeah. guy waiting to play. He has responsibilities to help prepare the starter and work on the sidelines to read defensive cues and so much more. The Bears believed in Bajan, and it's paying off for both sides now. Definitely had nerves today. I appreciate Coach looking out for me. Uh, not not so much so that I that I might have needed that, but. You know, that's just one example of everybody that's been looking out for me this week and having my back. And this may just be the beginning of something special. I mean, just look at the kid in his first NFL start against the Raiders. Bajan came out to run the offense as his parents cheered him on from the stands. Chicago worked to establish the run game on early, but as the young I ain't lie, Deontay Foreman was the football, on one. his talent was clear. Bajan looked particularly good when the play broke down for and he sure. had to move out of the pocket. He kept his eyes downfield the entire time and made a couple of really nice plays on the run to get first downs against the Raiders defense. He didn't throw a single ball into trouble, 21 completions on 29 throws for 162 yards and a touchdown. And most importantly, the win. And now look, Bears fans, Justin Fields is in his third season with the team, and so far, he just hasn't done enough to earn himself an extension. Chicago has two first round picks, which they could easily use on a quarterback like Caleb Williams or even Drake May. Or they could sell out of those picks for a big return that would help continue to build a roster for the future success around Bajan. I mean, Chicago already got this is a, a high hypothetical young for the Carolina video, Panthers, but and with the Panthers now struggling in 2023, that first rounder could have a lot some of, of the value, stuff he's saying has some reason to Chicago Bears believe they found themselves a hidden gem in the kid from West Virginia, and they don't need to draft a quarterback. But what do I know? Surely the Bears aren't going to pass on Caleb Williams for this rookie, though, right? Right? So what happens next? Does Tyson Bajan go on a winning streak and give the Chicago Bears a very welcome headache of Hey, what y'all think? If if Beijing can win this next game and actually like go crazy, is there quarterback controversy?